Hello, everyone. You know, I just want to take the time to say thank you to all my new subscribers, and I'm really um, enjoying my YouTube channel and sharing my journals with everyone. And I just love the comments, and uh, I just wanted to tell everyone that just really kind of makes my day. Well, the next journal I have ready is uh, another... journal with the ring binding it's a six and a half by ten and a half so this journal has pretty good size too it has it's called chandelier and curtains journal vintage journal has a chandelier image these are card like the cardboard covers with cardstock on each side on the front and back inside covers and this is kind of a curtain that just um, is like pulled back it's gonna lace on the top it's a little tied there so it's pretty secure. So we'll look inside. The inside pocket has kind of like a little accordion pocket. Uh, so you can put quite a bit in there. It has a little fabric backing to the image, a little lace on the bottom. Uh, inside there's a couple of, this is a large journal tag. And this is another just a little journal spot. Slips in there. A little fabric and image on the top, a little lace on the pocket. Like I said, it has the three rings, and all the pages have reinforcers on the holes. Some match the coordinate with the paper on the pages with the designer paper. And this is put together like an altered book as well. Uh, what kind of happened was when I made the black and white journal started getting really really fat where it was hard to close it so I had to remove some of the pages and then I had to remove some more pages and I had to remove some more pages so I thought well I'm probably just going to make another journal out of those so this journal is real similar to the black and white journal although this journal I did grunge up the pages so the pages have inking on them so it's the altered book style again there's a little tag tucked in here with some fibers on and the tags are paper clip together. Although in this journal, when I have the writing pages underneath each of the images is another little um, kind of coffee dyed torn page, torn edge page that slips underneath the image. So it has some lace sewn on, stamped a little bird and a little wreath on there. That's so cute. And it just has some journaling spots. I, re I ordered those stamps. I think Angie Brunner had those in some of hers. So I, of course, had to order those. And I really like those too. So that goes into this pocket here. I just love the way the torn edge of the paper turned out. Or stick out like that. And then there's a complete journal page. And this has a... An image, got a little tag paper clipped on with a bird, a little tuck spot, stamping, stamp swirl on the back. Again, this has just some fibers on the paper clip. It's designed for writing again. Sometimes it's really tough to leave pages blank, but I, I was determined that I was going to try to do, not overdo it. There's a tag in these tiered pockets on this page. And there, what I did was if I used this paper for a folded page inside the page pocket, then I used this paper for the uh, tucked in journal writing spot in the pockets. Plus I wanted to tear some pockets, so when I cut this off, then I created a, I like, oh great, now I cut that piece of paper. So I took this paper and made a pocket edged lace on there so it kind of adds a cute little look to the page a little tuck spot on here and then there's a pocket inside for for an image and still have a lot of journaling space in there too so that's how these turned out in this book this is the journal page with some lace some embroidered flowers and some stringy prettiness and then you have your journal page these pages aren't quite as large 
as the others because the pages had to be kind of cut to go into this book. So, And I think this flips up. You can write behind the decorated flap. More journaling pages. So I added some old book pages in. So I just sewed on some of the book pages and added a pocket and added some tags. It's just here. Simple tags. You know, the beauty of the journal comes from filling it up with your writing. So that is what makes it look really cool. So here we have another page similar to tearing pockets, the images. Again, lace. And then there's a tag inside this pocket with some fibers on it. Tucks in that pocket there. You know, in these journals, they may not look like they're just a really time consuming to put together and the inking and the uh, cutting and the it's just uh, it always amazes me I think well I'm just going to kind of make it just a simple journal but they always turn out to be uh, almost just a week or more in the making when you get them finished this one has another little tuck spot under the photo with some lace on the edge and some stamping on the back Stamping on the front. So I was try to make my journals uh, pretty useful. And then there's a tuck spot in here with the tag. What's in there? And this has a little tag in it with some fabric wrapped around and pinned, pinned on there. I think this is some Kirby Tuesdale paper here. Tucks in that tuck spot. This page is folded back. This page you can't flip up and write because it got uh, punched through to hold it in. <laughs> so here's another one of the writing spots with the coffee dyed paper journal spot. Lace on the edge, some birds and bird cage stamped on there. Rearranged my craft area a little bit and wanted to have easier access to all my stamps, so I want to kind of use a little bit more of the stamps that I have and things forgotten about. So tuck spot down here. This is one of those multiplication or <laughs> Edition cards. I thought they're kind of cool. Stuck that in there. This page has a little tag paper clipped on the edge. This is another image by Ingrid. Aren't they pretty? I don't know if it's just me, but I just love her stuff. I'll link her web Etsy store below. Some lace on the edge. Yeah, page two. That tucks in there. This little tuck spot down here with a little tag. And this is a pocket. Another journal page. And another coffee dyed letter spot. More blank journal pages. This is another old book page that came out of a book that I had altered and just sold the page for writing. And here's another, it's got a tuck spot and a tag under the image. Just a blank inside for journaling. It's just folded back, can be tucked up for journaling. A little tuck spot up under the rows. I thought that red stripe paper was kind of pretty. Next page has a copy dyed journal spot with lace on the edge. This image is supposed to look like a little coin purse with edge sticking, <laughs> lace sticking out of the coin purse. So I was kind of playing around trying to design some different things. This is uh, another tuck spot with a tag. Tuck spot under the image. It's 
spot for writing. Folded back page. Another uh, kind of a violin stamp. See, told you I got some of my stamps out. It's just amazing what a person has. That You know, you always grab the same things over and over when you're working on stuff. I thought, you know, I'm going to try to do some some different things with my journals. More writing pages. This has the tearing pockets, tickets. Again, there's a little ticket under this little rose seeds here. And then there's another tag inside here. So it's homemade. And it tucks under there. This pocket has a bird. Another page. Copy that page. This is a envelope. It has some it's lined with some paper. Corner tuck little ticket in there. And this little it's like um, that paper that's homemade paper feels like that. It's real texture on the outside, but yet inside it's it's flat or smooth for writing. A little Martha Stewart butterfly on there. Tucked in there. And this image. Some of these images I have in groups of four on my Etsy store. So if you like the images, you can check that out. And then some journaling spot on the back of the envelope. It's a little teeny tiny pocket down here with a little teeny tiny tag. <laughs> Sometimes you just have too much time. And then on this page is a altered paper clip. Kind of looks like that. Kirby Tuesdale paper in there. I like the bicycle. I thought I'm using that in this journal someplace because I just love that. Love that image with the bicycle. It's a tuck spot. This is a flip up pocket inside. Then again, we have another journal page with the stamp. I stamped a couple butterflies. This one got kind of funny, so I put some flowers over it. Then I stamped some ladies. It just has a collage of stamping. <laughs> and that goes back in that page there. And we have just some blank pages. There's a couple little fabric. Down on the corners, this is a single page. It seemed like it always wanted to kind of fold up on the corners, so I just reinforced it to be a little thicker with some of these little cutouts. And that's the back cover, and that's the back of the book. I I just like those papers. So anybody can, you know, add to it or it doesn't have a closure because it definitely stays closed nice on its own. I didn't really want any more on the front of the journal so that's available in my Etsy store as well and this journal is called Chandelier and Curtains Vintage Journal and I thank you for watching bye now